what's in a word we are back again but today it's not what's in a word it's what's in a letter two letters a i give me an a i a i a wiki wiki Artificial insemination. Artificial insemination is a safe way to breed our purposely bred dogs. So what exactly happens during an artificial insemination? Well, first thing is first. You have to make sure that your bitch is in season and ready to breed. There are different levels that people breed at when it comes to breeding naturally doing surgical implants, doing TCIs, etc. Once your bitch is ready to be bred and you know it's time, you try, let's say you try a natural breeding and the male is, it's just not working out or you want to uh, do it safely and check his sperm under the microscope, a safe way to breed her, check his semen, make sure everything looks good is by doing an AI. So we're gonna use a model, and this is our model because this is my breed, so this is a St. Bernard. Our model is in season, and she's ready to be naturally bred. Well, brought the male down, and he's like, nah, I just can't get it in. So we're gonna do it for you. So what does that entail? Well, first of all, it depends on what size the dog is. St. Bernards are big, so therefore, they have big junk. In that scenario, we may have to use a little bit of a bigger bag. Sometimes they might need a big bag. Yeah, this may be a little too big, I'm well aware. So you don't need that. Not sanitary. We don't use those types of bags for an AI. For the St. Bernards, what we typically use, and it's called the golden box, because they hear it come out. Ziploc baggy, best friend. Okay, we go over to the male, who is a by the bitch, it's in season, and he's smelling her. Okay, and then we start. <laughs> not to scale, we get a nice little sample of semen. On the other hand, for those smaller dogs, you may get something about like this size. <laughs> yeah, pretty impressive. So now we are ready to inseminate. Depending on the size of the dog is gonna depend on what size straw you use to put in the uh, girls, okay? So the first size we have, It's for the St. Bernard. Okay? Smaller dogs, you may use things like... This is, again, not to scale. We take our syringe, like we are going to inseminate the St. Bernards. We get the semen out of the bag. And we suck it up. Now that we have our not to scale semen in our syringe, we are ready to insert it into the bitch. The most important thing is when connecting the syringe to the tube, you don't wanna drop any. You could be dropping a best in show puppy. We say that all the time. Make sure you get the seal on there real well. And you set it down on a sanitary environment. Make sure that you glove up And we want to make sure that the area on the bitches is clean. We have our gloves on. We are going to get some KY jelly. You're going to put it on your finger. You're going to take that jelly and you're going to put it on the tube. All over. You put it on the tube. Okay, that's that's good. Okay. So we're nice and lubed up. We get the air out of the syringe.
and we get the semen to the tip. Just like that. And we are ready to, not to scale, inseminate our dog. So what do we do next? We take the bitch, we take our not to scale uh, straw with the semen in it. And usually what we do is we tape off the section uh, where we know where to stop when we're in some, where we're putting the straw in. So when you're putting the straw in the bitch, you want to make sure that it goes in nice and smooth. And when it uh, has any problems going in, you want to pull back and you want to make sure you have a nice smooth entry when you put the semen straw into the girl's. When you stop. What you do is you hold it in place, you get back to the edge of your syringe, and you aim, and you fire! Once that's done, you take the syringe and you uh, pull back, take it off the tube, you pull it back, get some air in there to push the rest of the semen into the bitch. Take it off. Hold the tube and bam. What we do next is we usually take a pack of vegetables that we are going to probably eat for dinner that night, frozen veggies, and you elevate the bitch slightly and you hold those veggies right on her, her twat, okay? About five minutes or so, the bitch is complete and you can walk the dog around to, uh, you know, and put them away. Bam! Hopefully, that will make you babies safely and accurately. Now, some things that you're checking under the microscope, I want to be clear. You can check your semen under the scope. This is very cloudy semen, but it's not to scale because it's milk. So if I put this under there, I, I hope that there isn't anything that I'm going to see. The other thing is, when you're checking your semen, you want to make sure that you don't have... powder. That probably means that your dog is not uh, making any more babies. So safe way to do it. Contact your vet. This is simply for uh, explanation purposes only. And we will see you guys next time. I gotta go. I'm having a little bit of a problem here because Crom saw me get the bag and oh god. He knows. Oh gosh. Well, not for you. Not for you.